Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Nathan Lyon, welcome to the Founder BB Show, and thank you so much for being here during this holiday season. It's a great time. <laughs> this is the sweet spot, Valder, between Thanksgiving and New Year's when you get to go to all these amazing holiday parties with this beautiful array of food on all these tables. Do you have any plans for, uh, for the holidays? Oh, chef, they're coming to my house. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> From across the nation. <laughs> that is a beautiful thing. And when you're done... Eating your fill in maybe seconds, I highly recommend going on Curiosity Stream and watching, binge watching the history of food. It is a an original five-part docu-series that looks into the science, history, and cultural impact of food throughout time because we just came off Thanksgiving. And when you think about, say, pumpkin pie, Valder. All the spices that are in pumpkin pie are not from the Americas. They're from elsewhere. And if we went to Italy and we had, say, pizza with red sauce and pasta with red sauce, Italy had never seen a tomato before they brought them back from the Americas. And Ireland had never even heard of a potato before they brought them back from the Americas. Imagine no mashed potatoes. That would be crazy. And that's amazing to even know that. That's right. And it gets even better because when you're watching the history of food on Curiosity Stream, you realize that you start in Africa, you go to Australia, Europe, Asia. You even go 500 feet into the side of a mountain, into a, what's called the Doomsday Seed Vault. And it's on an isolated island in the Arctic. And what's inside that seed vault, Valder, at the last 12,000 years of uh, food that we've been growing through agriculture. So it's, it keeps all of our food safe. And then you realize, well, where, does, where do all the foods, different foods come from? And they come from all around the world. The history of food really defines it from when we first started cooking with fire all the way through today. And even, I haven't even touched on it, the history of food. That's the big question mark. And I'm not going not gonna to tell you how it ends. That would be like me telling you how an amazing movie ends, Val. <laughs> so you have to watch it. No, I, I'd love to leave some of that because that makes my uh, audience, they go back and forth. I heard Chef Nathan Lyon on your show, and oh, he was yeah. talking about this, and so they come to fill me in. So that's a great way. You guys know that uh, Chef Nathan, you see him on, you've seen him on PBS and Discovery, and now he's got a new title, Ambassador Across Curiosity. Tell me a little bit about Curiosity because I, I really want to excite my audience, Chef. Well, Curiosity's stream is a streaming and on-demand platform that was started by the founder of Discovery, Discovery Channel. His name is John Hendricks. So you know that the quality of programming on Curiosity Stream is absolute top-notch. And Valder, in the season of giving, when your listeners go to curiositystream.com and they sign up for a year's subscription before the end of this month, they get 40% off. And believe it or not, that comes to a dollar a month, $12 for a year of what I consider to be the best programming on offer, not just food, but also history, there's science, there's nature, there's lifestyle technology, everything is there. So when you're done feeding your belly, Valder, you got to feed your mind. And that is the gift that keeps on giving. I'm so excited about that, Chef. I've got a Facebook post. They want to know... Oh, Please. they identify with me. They say they've got people coming to their house. They want some quick entertaining uh, tips for a large crowd. Entertaining for a large crowd? Oh, my gosh. Well, I mean, <laughs> sitting back and watching amazing programming like the history of food, that's always good. Um, but I think people are amazed by 
what you do that's out of the ordinary. So for example, instead of buying flowers for a centerpiece, how about go to your farmer's market or your grocery store and have a beautiful centerpiece that just wows people utilizing things that are in season like beautiful gourds that are, that are knobby or twisty. You can also put on uh, say persimmons or pomegranates, some leafy greens in the middle. And then you can, afterwards you can actually eat it with your friends and family, that's always fun. But some of the things that I like to tell people is plan ahead of time. For example, I make this delicious uh, sweet potato maple syrup ginger puree. Ooh. And I make it <laughs> about two weeks before my party. You finish the whole thing up and then the day of your party, pull it out of the freezer and warm it up. You don't have to make everything every single day before your party. You should involve yourself in the party too. And also keep in mind, people love bringing desserts to parties this time of year. If you're like me, you have a, a big table for all the savory dishes. And then behind me, there's a table just for desserts when people bring it to your house. And there's this massive array of desserts. So you can actually strike desserts off the list of things you have to do and let other people bring things to your party. Let them, let them help you out. You are a superstar. Let me ask you, when can we start getting our subscription to Curiosity Stream? Because I want to be a part of that. Oh, my gosh. You can go to curiositystream.com right now and check out all the programming. And again, if you want the 40% discount for a dollar a month, you sign up for a year subscription, do so before the end of this month, you get 12 months for $12. And they, all, they always have new shows coming out all the time. So you just never run out of the best programming on offer. Please tell John Hendricks we love what he's done with I Discovery do. and a new channel. And thank you for being my guest. And happy holiday. Valder, happy holidays to you too.